Google Photos and Apple Photos are two rival apps. Although you don't get Apple Photos on Android, both are available on iPhone. So how do you compare? Let's explore both in this video. From storage to features, there are many features utterly different in both. Starting with the storage, Google offers 15 gigabytes of storage, which includes your Google Drive, your Gmail, and your photos. The popular feature free storage is still available, but only until the June 1st, 2021. Apple offers 5 gig of storage for all the Apple devices. Well, 5 gig is it's not a lot. And in the long term, I believe that if you stick with Apple, you will have to subscribe to one of the paid plans. The second, and I believe the most prominent feature of this comparison is the assistant. The Google Photos Assistant does many jobs, including showing memories, cleaning storage, and even organizing media. Alongside those, the assistant suggests to archive photos such as receipts and documents. It also suggests to delete the media and free up the storage once the media has been uploaded to the drive. Furthermore, the app creates some built-in albums such as animations, collages, movies, and cinematic photos. Those albums are automatically filled by the assistant after creating and suggesting. On the home screen of the app, you find the recent highlights as well as the memories. The application is well developed to show different things on different days. For example, today it's showing Spotlight on MK, who's of course me. The assistant button on the top shows the assistant history. You can browse the saved media by the assistant and it also suggests people to share that media with. Well, all this alongside the features which you find in a photo application. Apple Photos also shows memories. In each memory, you find media, people, location, and maybe some other relevant information. It also creates a video containing some photos from that memory, which you can further edit and share with your friends. Keep in mind though, for some functionalities, you must have enough photos in the application. Both apps offer to edit media. You get options including crop, exposures, filters, etc. Google Photos takes this approach to the next level by showing some suggestions when you edit the photos. Furthermore, when you open a photo in Google Photos, if there is a problem with the lighting, the app suggests to fix the lighting with one tap. Once you have applied the lighting, it shows the edited photo, and then it's totally up to you to keep the old one or the new one. The next round is about searching for media. Google Photos offers a powerful search tool where you can search for file names, colors, and even objects inside of the media. For example, if you search for the keyword tree, you will find all the photos containing trees. And this works with uh, like many things, including nature, uh, water, and colors as well. Google Photos also asks some questions about different photos. For example, if there is a photo of food, it will confirm, is this a photo of food? So whenever you search for food, the photo should come up. Although Apple Photos lacks this feature, it does come with the face recognizing feature. In both the apps, you find faces of people. And when you tap on a face, it shows all the photos which include that person. Both apps support the map where you can see all the photos and videos taken on a different location. As you zoom in, you find more closer locations. You can of course browse all the photos by clicking on a location. And finally, both support raw photos. But while editing raw photos, the functionality becomes limited. All right, what do we get for backup and restore? Well, both work in pretty similar way. You take photos and videos, the apps take care of the rest. Regarding features, Google Photos is more advanced because it shows all the albums and folders which are saved on the device but not uploaded to the cloud. It also allows you to delete all the media which is already uploaded. And of course, you get your account and your storage options. Okay, let's talk about platforms. Well, the only difference I find here is Apple Photos is not available on Android. It's pre-installed on iOS and macOS devices. Google Photos, on the contrary, is available on Android, iOS, and desktop devices. Well, you can access both going to the website, but I believe the Google Photos web version is much more advanced than iCloud web version, and it offers almost all the features which you find on Google Photos application. Now, iCloud also comes as an application for Windows, and you can download from Windows Store, but it's not as advanced as Google Photos because uh, you can upload media, of course, but to view anything, for example, a photo or a video, you will have to download that photo or video to the computer, and then you can view or watch that video. Finally, Google Photos can also be installed on Windows computers as a progressive web app on Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. You simply go to the website and then download the app from the main menu. Overall, I believe that the advantage Apple Photos has over Google Photos is the consistency. 
Because the app is specially designed for Apple products, it works seamlessly on all Apple devices. With Google Photos, you might get limited functionalities depending on the device you use. These include camera limitations and maybe if you are using a different device than Google Pixel, which is of course the Google's Android lineup device. With that in mind, Google Photos has an advantage over Apple Photos, which is working on all the platforms regardless of functionalities. Because the essential features of this app are storing and displaying media, most of the features including memories, highlights and searching work on all the platforms. The assistant and searching of course are better on Google Photos. So which one is for you? Well honestly, ultimately it comes to the platforms. If you are using iPhone and macOS then I would recommend sticking to Apple Photos. While if you are using Windows plus iPhone or macOS plus Android then I will recommend trying Google Photos. So there you have it. That's pretty much all about both the apps. I hope the video helped. Please let me know what you think of this video and which is your favorite app in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if it helped. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.